Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do one of the first lessons in W3 Schools. Now, I've gone ahead and opened up my browser and I have Google as my search engine. I can come up here and key in W3 Schools or I can hit my um, bookmark that I've added to my uh, bar here on my browser in Chrome. So anyway, it comes up, shows you HTML, the language for building web pages. On the first lesson I'm going to go to for HTML is I'm going to go ahead and click on Learn HTML. Then I'm going to scroll down here to where it says uh, examples in every chapter. And this tutorial here contains hundreds of examples. It's a great set of tutorials, by the way, for learning HTML and becoming proficient in as a programmer and developer. And website engineer if you want to call it that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this first exercise which is going to learn the basic function of building your first web page. So I'll click on this. Now what happens is W3 Schools, what's really nice about them is they open up this window over here where you can do development to your left and then over here you can see what the code is actually going to look like after you have run your code as it shows here. Now you can change the background if you like. You can get rid of any ads that come up or whatever comes up. I personally like to work in white and I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some stuff here and build my first web page this is your assignment so in this first one you're gonna come up and say uh, Richard Platt's web page now this is in the title when the internet searches uh, does a search like Google does a search or Yahoo or whoever the search engine is you're using when they do a search, they're searching on the title field. So it's very important that you put something up here that you want to look for, like Richard Platt's web page. So I put that up there, but I'm actually going to use that. I've highlighted it, and I'm going to copy it, do a control C, or I can right mouse click and do copy. And I'm going to come down here and paste it in what's called the head tag. Now, I'll put that right there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit run, and you can see it says Richard Platt's web page. Now, let's understand a few things about HTML. HTML is a set of tags. The first tag that's very important in a web page is HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. Now, if you notice all the way down at the end, it says slash Hypertext Markup Language. This is the code that defines a web page that a browser like Chrome or Safari or Firefox, whatever you're using and looking at. It has to look for a start, start tag and it has to look for an end tag and it has to start with HTML and end with HTML. Now, up here in this thing called the head, the head is where you put a lot of information that you don't want the user to see. For example, the title. You want to put the title up here. You may have some code that calls your cascading style sheet, which is a document that governs all of your web pages, how it looks, how it formats, etc. So everything that you don't want the user to see but it's important to your web page, you put in the head. And again, the head starts off here, and the head ends here with the slash. So you open a tag and then you close the tag and that's 90% or more of the time a, a title excuse me a tag is always open with bracket whatever the title is in this case down here it says HTML1 which is a head tag and it closes over here with the head tag or this P tag here which stands for paragraph then it's closed with a slash P tag so again everything you don't want the user to say see is going to be up here in the head now body this body right here uh, again, opens with body and closes with body. That's everything that the browser is going to show you when you open up that page. So let's come down here to this paragraph and let's write, write a little bit about it. Okay, this is my first web page that I am going to turn into Mr. Platt on our LMS, oops, I got that out right. LMS, that stands for Learning Management System, called Schoology.com. Okay, so let's run that, and as you can see, it's gone ahead and put that paragraph over there. Now, I can do a few more things, but this is all I'm asking you to do for this first exercise is to go ahead and write this little web page. Tell me your name and tell me some stuff about you. If you want to say exactly what I did here, that's fine. If you want to change that up, make me laugh, I'm totally okay with that. Now, we come over here, you can hit save. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to hit that. I'm going to come over here and hit save to Google Drive. And then I'm going to give it a file. And I'm going to say, let me do that again here. 
save to Google Drive and I'm gonna change the name of this file to Platt or I'm gonna do my whole name because I may have several people with the same last names Richard Platt underscore underscore actually I don't want to use underscore I'm gonna say Richard Platt hyphen P-L-A-T-T -T, web page Let's even make it easier so Mr. Platt can search this. We're going to say lesson hyphen two. Now I'm going to hit save file. And that's going to go open up my Google Drive here in a moment. And it says it's saved to Google Drive. Now what you're going to do is you go to your Google Drive and you're going to open that up and you're going to attach it to Schoology for this first lesson. That's all there is to it.